up a little bit actually maybe flight number two since I changed the gyro settings according to Rick from AR according to his uh, recommendation okay so to show you my setup I'm using a King Tech 260 G4 plus you can see the King Tech electronics right here uh, then a miracle smoke pump CM jets Kevlar double tank for fuel and smoke this flight didn't have any smoke only fuel and then from the jeweler as always the best fuel system ever the FCT UAT then for my secret weapon I'm using an AR smooth flight 16 right here uh, gains are maxed out in a hover I think I need to take down the aileron gain you see it kind of wobbles on the aileron but really there's a lot of aileron going on when hovering so <laughs> this is to be expected so I'm still tuning the gains uh, what else AR batteries and the nose two lithium ions and one light fee for the ECU. All AR servos, 8455s, high voltage brushless servos. Then I'm using an FR Sky X20S radio um, with a Xavionics telemetry. Maybe you'll be able to see the screen. And I have all the turbine data and all my alerts for engine cut and low fuel and so on. Now for receivers, I have just two of these very small TDMX Receivers, I get no alerts during the flight. These are tandem dual band, 902.4, very powerful. And in the back, I'm using JP landing gear, by the way. And in the back, I'm, I'm also using a JP vector thrust tailpipe. This is for all the hovering you see. And uh, that's about it. As you can see, there's a nice mix. You have the ailerons running and then if you change over to the high rate vector thrust you have four ailerons which is great you can see the, the plane does a rolling harrier it's very unique for a jet to do a rolling harrier and this one does it very easily so that's about it i hope you like the flight i'm just getting used to the controls and tuning up the gyro and everything so see you guys at the field <laughs>